Hello folks and welcome back to your next exciting installment of Let's see how much metal we can cut out of the Panzer project. So, today we have been at the old Chopsky again, uh, back around the rear boot area. Now, I know I'm hearing it. Go on, say it. Go on, say it. No, really, say it. Damien! You're doing it wrong. You've compromised the structural integrity of the Panzer. You're going to create the next apocalypse. Well, fear not, my very seriously minded YouTube viewers. We will be taking care of any compromised structural integrity problems. On that note, I would draw your attention to the rather serious uh, internal subframe that we now have fitted in here. Uh, let me see if I can get some bright light for you. Along with some very serious uh, reinforcements of our uh, suspension system. So, you know, we're not taking this lightly at all. Now, reason for cutting out all of this superfluous metal here is... In the space that we've now created, we are going to be installing the uh, charger and the high voltage junction box. And they're going to sit here in a slightly lowered floor, which you will see soon. And uh, this will basically then have all of our uh, rear high voltage components mounted in this area. So stand by folks, more on the way. We'll, we will now demonstrate the incorrect way to sand chassis legs. Yes, because the battery is dead. Wait a minute, hang on. Is the battery dead, is it? Yes, the battery. Take two. Okay, so we're now basically mocking up the charger and the high voltage junction box where they're going to live. Um, as you can see there, they're going to sit uh, in this general area and we'll have enough clearance then to come off our top subframe uh, to basically cover this up once we've all the cabling in and everything's working. Uh, we'll be basically able to have a false floor in the boot here and then the boot area will be put back into service. Uh, so that's about where we're at uh, to today. The floor is in, uh, welded in and uh, looking pretty darn good in total. So it's coming along, uh, definitely a lot more stuff. Um, in here and out than we had last time so uh, there you have it charger and high voltage junction box are almost in okay so a little bonus for you guys uh, we've put our left side swing arm back in new back plate wheel bearing all that and the, the drive shaft fits and not only does it fit but it turns 
and uh, our drive shaft angle is very nice and we've uh, pretty much you know this is the last kind of big thing that could have gone wrong hopefully so well uh, at least mechanically anyway so uh, it's in and it's turning and you saw it here first so there you go I'll clean it up and paint it and, and all that but uh, yeah it's in there we have it Alrighty folks, so once again that's about what we've got time for you today. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and tell me I'm doing it wrong. Um, we will see you in the next video. Links in the description to my uh, Patreon, PayPal email address if you wish to support financially this particular form of insanity. And... Um, also link in the description there to the github where you can download all the files to do this crazy stuff yourself but don't because i'm doing it wrong anyway uh thanks again for watching and see you next time and happy tesla charger installation <laughs>